What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Trina Henderson and you're on the infamous Living Rim Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know I've been gone for a minute, but hey, y'all know I do all these different things on the side other than, you know, inspirational videos, motivational videos, you know, just a straight entrepreneur. Um, so it's like, sometimes I get a little too ahead of myself and, um, it's hard for me to keep track of everything at one time, but that's okay. That's the beauty of life, guys. You know, sometimes things don't always go 100% right for you, but if you're able to get back on track immediately, that's what matters the most, and that's what makes you different from the next person. You know what I mean? So with that being said, we're going to talk about feeling 100% good. How do you feel 100% good every single day? For those of you who do not know, there is a state of happiness. There's a state of happiness that you can reach that allows you to act out all your purpose, that allows you to treat everyone with the utmost respect, that allows you to you know, have opportunities coming to you all the time. There is a state of happiness and that's been 100%, feeling 100% good. But how do you get there? How do you get there? First things first, one thing that you must understand in order to feel 100% good all the time, which you will not feel 100% good all the time, there is a fact. Even myself do not feel 100% good all the time, but the fact remains, I am usually feeling 100% good than I am feeling down sometimes. You understand? Uh, you're going to feel down. You're going to be depressed here and there again. That's, like I said, that's life. That's once again life. But you have to always get yourself back on track like that great famous girl who is able to walk the balance beam yes yeah, she's good at what she does but she does fall off the balance beam even though she's the gold medalist she does mess up sometime and her score is not as always great as the last time she had a trial run you understand so that's the same thing with life however she gets back on the balance beam and continues to do it again and and, and repeat itself and the better you get at it the the, the better you become and the more happier you be so to feel 100 percent good man you have to really let go of a lot of baggage you know most of us tend to want to carry baggage all the time we want to carry negative feelings all the time like some people like to just go along with it and just carry feelings for like days and days and days and hold grudges for days and days and days and be unfor unforgiving for days and days and weeks and years. Like, feeling to realize that is depleting their, what I call, karmatic debt. That is depleting everything that they want to manifest for themselves because they are yet to, you know, uh, they are yet to fulfill certain energies that require their approval for that person to move on if you understand what i'm saying that's a metaphysical that's a metaphysical uh terminologies uh anyway but you have to let go of stuff man like you have to be able to just get in situations talk to people hear stuff from other people see things happen but quickly get over it and put yourself back in a 100% good mood. You know, like you have to just want to always get yourself back in there. Do whatever you have to do to feel good. Yeah, man, I feel good this morning, man. Uh, it was a long weekend. It was great, actually. Mother's Day weekend. Shout out to all the mothers out there that have kids and stuff like that. Happy Mother's Day. You guys mean the world to me because you create all of us. You mothers make life. So shout out to all the mothers, you know, and to many more Mother's Days to all the mothers, okay? So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's how you feel 100% good, man. You just have to always be in a state of gratitude and thankfulness and unforgiving and just being able to let go of stuff, you know? Just, just let it go. It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth your energy, you know? It's not worth your life. It's not worth worth holding a grudge with somebody that something that happened a year ago that's because you have to still think about it today and it's like yo i don't want to think about that anymore okay so with that being said i hope that resonated with you guys i'm trenton henderson you on the infamous living realm network as you can see i'm turned up motivated getting ready for the whole week new videos every single day we're still on the one month activate superfood challenge as you can see i have some water here you know, I, I drunk two bottles of water this morning, and I hope you drunk yours too and continue to drink it throughout the day. I'll see you next time. Watch me on the next video. Peace.